already just demolishing to him. And look, they're already they're going straight back. They're playing such a good defensive game. It looks like they've put in. It looks like they've taken a couple of their starters off the off of uh, off the court. Uh, I think that's probably a good thing. Uh, I'm a little worried. I don't know if uh, you might have seen it at the end of that last point. Uh, one of their power players, unfortunately, I did not get his name or his number, uh, landed, it looked like, possibly on his elbow. Uh, that could be trouble for them because this is a team where, obviously, they've got a very good starting lineup. Uh, I, would be, I would be worried about them losing even one of those kind of power players they've Talk got. The, okay. They just got rid of the pod, but number zero and the bald eagle over there are setting up this pod, and there is, there is something really awesome about that. I think that was introduced the, the 2009, 2010 year with Grand Valley doing it, and ever since then, people have been, people have been doing that same thing. A little controversial call. Yeah, there was, um, obviously we don't have a good angle on it, but uh, it was hard to tell if it hit his foot or the ground first, so. Sounds like a pretty big upset on the court next door. I'm not sure who's playing over there. Another big catch from Townsend. Saginaw Valley, but I don't know who's playing them. Um, might be Kentucky, I don't know. That's not Kentucky, Kentucky's got a whole blue. Ah. Kent? Uh, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll go see after this point. Oof. That pink sock green shoe combination from BGSU. <laughs> Say, uh, Townsend got two new players in, two cyborgs, part man, part machine. And I, you know, this is an all around good move for Townsend. They're rotate. They're giving all of their players a chance because this is just as much of, you know, as much as it's kind of a summation of the season for a lot of teams. This is also good practice because this is where your players will get to play against the best teams in the league. So it's important to not just play your all stars here. You need to give everyone a chance to benefit from kind of the learning experience. Especially day one. Especially day one. People are gonna get tired, and you need everybody to play a little bit. Let's watch over on this. Watch the defensive screen that you're talking about over here on the on uh. Well, oh, well too Townsend. late. And see, we're having they're they're playing such a fast-paced game. We're having trouble keeping up with it. Well, unfortunately, I've had to not get the entire court. At least, at least not in the mid. But let's see, I we can't quite. Email on Townsend just getting a catch number 14, all the way over here. Can't make out the number. Uh, the guy in the middle with the white gloves. He has to keep kind of reining Townsend in a little bit. Uh, if they're getting a little too aggressive, he's coming out and calling yeah. him back and getting him in that defensive line. Uh, and that's nice the reason for that. <laughs> oh, two people. That's a lot of people. Oh, and with that, we do have a catch, though, for BGSU. Not one of their strongest throwers, number seven. Usually a blocker, so I'm... A little surprised to see him throwing alone. Yeah. That gives the potential for BGSU to get back. BGSU definitely wins the award for most neon socks so far. Oh, the sideline. <laughs> His own team gets hit, and he's mad at him. <laughs> see, now that, I don't know if it was done on purpose or not. What BGS, BGSU is making a mistake. Townsend is lining up on that back line, like they're setting up to do here, and almost every ball that's being thrown at them at chest height is being caught. So I, what I, well, they're still kind of doing it. What I would, the, the only smart thing for BGSU to do there is to give a low throw at their feet, maybe not even getting all the way to them, just to reset the shot clock, forcing Townsend to move forward. Because yep. they're not going to get any hits off of this backline setup that Townsend's got. That Towns obviously put some time into their catching game. So there, that was a good example. He made a low throw, landed a couple uh, a couple feet in front of them, so there wasn't a chance of it being caught. BGSU has dug themselves such a huge hole. And by that I mean, if they throw in a group, they give up huge ball advantage. And they need to throw in a group. The problem is you give up ball advantage. And then Townsend is going to make you punish, or is gonna punish you for it. And if they throw solo, they don't have good enough arms, solo throwers, so that 
people aren't going to get a catch. Yeah. So nothing you can do at this point if you're Bowling Green for this point. Yeah, Townsend plays a strong game with the ball advantage, and they play a strong game without the ball advantage. Um, and when you've got a team like Bowling Green State University that only really seems to be to – wow. See, they've got to stop doing that. They have to stop making those chest-level throws at that back line. That is never going to work. Nine minutes, 45 left. Let me try to get a count in on BGSU real quick. Pretty quick count, five. See, there he is again. He's wrangling he's, him? Yeah, he's wrangling him in. He's telling him, get back is on that like line. church clothes? What are those? I don't know. Some opera gloves going. They don't look like catcher's mitts. I don't know what they are. I don't, I don't know what these guys are doing. Woo! One of the refs. Winging one into the sidelines there. <laughs> he's smiling about it. You, you got to be ready. Ooh, number 16, just throwing it, just throwing it out there, but that's gonna get caught if she does that again. Holy God, might have been my fingers there. Apologies for the expletive. I don't, I don't know, I would probably, if that hit the iPad, that would not be fun. I would not, <laughs> I would not see that coming. Oh man, I- um, That was a ricochet, there's nothing I can do about that. But now Townsend playing up at the line. So Townsend at this point, still five uh, BGSU players left. Now Townsend has stopped playing their backcourt game, and they're going for what looks like a pretty aggressive push. Black Dynamite going down there. That's his name on the back of his jersey, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just calling him like I see okay, him. Okay, I, I keep forgetting that they're a nickname team. <laughs> Alex looked at me like I was crazy. Ooh, there for a second I was like, we are alive, sir. Uh, <laughs> Number 17 over there, that's his name. Watch, just watch the, oh man, the, the defense from Bald Eagle is, I, I am thoroughly impressed. He apparently got the neon shoe um, memo. Yeah, he got the email. <laughs> he got the email about that. Okay, winged off there. BGSU with four players remain, oh wow. Mr. Maloney taking one pretty hard off the hands. Girls making a team throw. They ain't messing around either. A little frustration out of these team members as they kick the balls over yeah. rather than roll them. Yeah, and I mean, this is a situation, it's really unfortunate to see this. This is a team that uh, Bowling Green State's had a quite a, they've had a lot of hard games today. Uh, you know, they're down three points, seven minutes remaining. Um, they've, there's been a couple of calls that I, I think were kind of snap judgment calls where the refs had to make and, you know, BGSU didn't like them. So this is, again, you start seeing players get frustrated. Um, is, that a, is that a headshot? Or? I, I, I don't know if they were, I don't know if it was like a kind of questionable I may or may not hit. I, I wasn't able to see it. It was down under us. Three players left in for BGSU. You cannot roll the ball. No. Um, and it looks like BGSU has kind of given up. Uh, and again, you know, I don't fully blame them. you got to save a little bit of it for there's still some more games today. Um, oh, boy, this is going to be rough. Wow, he got a catch, but I believe he might have, yeah, so he did get the catch off, but then he did get hit immediately after. Okay, we got a bit of an issue here, I think. Okay, I think what happened there, I think Zygmunt Maloney, I think he I think he thought the two BGSU players came in. Uh, but that's not what happened, so.
Yeah, and then just kind of what you said before, the refs can't be everywhere all the time. So uh, I just think he might have seen something different. Might have to roll back the tape. Yep. Look at the preview or the, re the review. Preview, yeah, of course. All right. Well, they're going to discuss this out real quick. Uh, I, I, I was watching, so I'm aware of what happens. We'll see how this goes. Um, well, we got a minute. Those gives us time for a word from one of our sponsors. Ben Subcheck, no. tell us about our sponsors. Don't do this to me. You're the funny one. I just provide commentary. And it's now been saved online for everyone to hear. Uh, <laughs> looks like we've got it sorted out. Okay. Yeah, I think. Zygmunt just uh, suffering a little bit of eye strain. I'm not sure if that was supposed to count as a throw. I think they were supposed to have all the balls in there. Oh, okay. Bald Eagle rushing up. Miss. Yeah, they've, got, they've got so many strong arms on their team, Townsend. Ooh, ooh, number 16 almost got him. Oh, sorry, fatigue definitely starting to set in for us as well. <laughs> I'm yawning. Ooh, we got a kill. Uh, one for one, though. One for one. Oh, was it? 36 gets out, but uh, picked off number 43 at the same time. Okay, so yeah, easy catches. This puts one remaining player in for BGSU. Four minutes, 54 seconds left on the clock. Just not going to happen for her. And takes it off the hip, and that is it. That puts us at Townsend 4, BGSU 0. Uh, I think maybe they're just going to run the clock. Let's see what they decide to do here. Looks like a captain okay. Bowling Green is, is trying to call it. Okay, yeah, it looks like BGSU is ready to wrap it up. All right, they're going to discuss it, make sure Townsend's okay with uh, calling the last four minutes. Okay, and it looks like that will indeed be it. So that puts our final score, Townsend 4, BGSU 0. Uh, I'll be incredibly excited to see where Townsend ends up on uh, the bracket tomorrow and kind of see who their opponents are. So uh, this is, once again, I'm Alex Heigelbeck signing off. Ben Subcheck, we'll see you at WKU versus...